All right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week I'm showing you a super quick tip on how you can export FBX files correctly from Cinema 4D for programs like Blender and a few others that only accept a certain type of FBX format. Uh, I ran into this with our model packs, so I'm gonna show you how you fix that and also if you are only a Blender user, how you can use some online tools to hopefully fix your problem. So I have my donut here. It felt very appropriate for uh, Blender talks. I got it from my food pack over on the left hand side. I'm going to go up to file, export in Cinema 4D, down to FBX. And when I would just standardly export an FBX file from Cinema 4D, the settings in here already pre-saved create what's called an ASCII file format versus a binary format, which is what Blender accepts. So under file format, if I just crack this little carrot down, it says as text file. And all you need to do is uncheck that and then hit OK, export it. I already have the donut ASCII file in here. So donut binary. So I exported that. And now I'm going to hop into Blender and show you if I were to import this FBX file. If I were to try and bring in the donut ASCII file, you basically get this error saying that's not supported versus if I import that new binary format file. There you go. We got our donut inside of Blender. If you're just a Blender user and you want to kind of solve this problem and you don't have a buddy who knows uh, Cinema 4D or has Cinema 4D, uh, a few ways I've found to fix this are there is a really old Autodesk basically developer kit that you can download where you can transfer FBX files to different formats. Sometimes this creates problems with the UVs. So if you can uh, try, you know, the Cinema 4D route. If you're on a Windows machine, there's also um, this program standardly on Windows 10 and higher called 3D Viewer. If you open your file in that, you can actually export the FBX file as a GLB file, like this B is right here, and Blender should be able to open that. Uh, another thing I found is on this GitHub by this guy, there's basically this FBX format converter on GitHub that I found that also works. Um, so I definitely check that out. Hopefully that helps. Uh, just super quick tip about file formats. This is something I found frustrating. We actually ran into it with our packs that Blender users weren't able to open certain FBX files because of this problem. So we're currently updating all of those on our website now, thehappytoolbox.com. Uh, if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a ton. If you'd like to see any other tutorials, go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comments section below. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, including this food pack, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. They will now be Blender ready. All right, see you next time.